government's decision to explore the possibility of selling the Saglemi housing project covering 1,506 housing units to a private developer has generated mixed reactions. Works and Housing Minister Francis Asen Subwache, who announced this move, explains government has already expended approximately 196 million US dollars on the project and does not intend to spend additional taxpayers' money towards its completion. He says the state would thus be leveraging its equity in the form of the land and asset on the project site to ensure the completion of the unit by a private developer. Ms. Asen Subwache says proceeds from the sale will be reinvested by the state into other affordable housing projects. Today, minority members on the Works and Housing Committee in Parliament are on the site to see things for themselves. My colleague Kweku Asante is there for joining us and joins us live. Kweku, what can you report from the site? Kweku, um, if you can hear me, what can you tell us uh, from, from where you are? So the facility is completely abandoned. There are just about three or four policemen who are on site to protect the facility. Indeed, we've been touring parts of the building. Doors have been stolen. Electrical materials in the building have been stolen. It has become like a, 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 a totally abandoned place that has been taken over by rodents and animals in one of the buildings. I saw a bed nesting in there a lot of the uh, fittings that have been made to the facility have now been stolen the windows the glasses the doors all have been stolen particularly the electoral materials as well so vincent upon samoa is ranking member on the works and housing committee is currently addressing the media about what they want government to do about this we know that government has plans for privatizing this i want us to listen in to vincent upon samoa briefly then i'll come back to you everywhere by the government government of ghana so the minority in parliament, we are stating our position clear that we wouldn't want any private developer to come in at all. In 2015, we are very, very optimistic that NDC will form the next government in 2015. 2025. So any private developer that will partner the government to complete this project, the project will be taken away from you because it should remain affordable and the mortgage system and she go to uh, workers of Ghana, I know the military, and under government agent, every parliament, I tell you, members of parliament will be very, very happy to live around this place. The environment is so serene. So we came around for you to know that this government has been created because so much financial loss to the state, to the people of Ghana, because uh, we are taking shots of what has happened here, as to whether it was even organized by the government so that once we see the level of deterioration, that will give them the, the, the energy and the confidence to tell Ghanaians that the project is filled so that they can sell it. So, Brace, you've been listening to the ranking member on the Works and Housing Committee who says that the NDC minority in Parliament are completely against government plans to privatize the Saglemi building project. They say that they are hopeful that the NDC will be the party to form government in 2025. And any private developer that plans to come together with government to privatize this facility will have their investment in serious risk. They are completely against this privatization. They think government should be able to complete this project and give it up to many Ghanaians who are homeless or who just desire affordable housing. They say that government's continual description of this facility as a failed project is to give them the impetus to just sell the project off to a private developer and also because this project was started by an NDC government, we are not interested in fixing it. So you just said there from Bishop of Point Samoa, the NDC completely against privatization. They say that government should be able to complete this. If not, in 2025, a future NDC government will fix this project. Great. For us, and we'll bring you um, more update on our subsequent bulletins. But... Thank you.